If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You can insert new modern charts into your reports in Access. All charts in Access are inserted as a report control. Unlike other report controls, chart controls use their own data source to chart the data. Therefore, you can insert it into a blank, unassociated report if desired by clicking the Report Design button in the Reports button group on the Create tab of the ribbon. However, note that you cannot use the Chart Wizard to insert a modern chart in Access. That is only available when inserting the older Microsoft Graph Chart controls as shown in the previous lesson. To insert a modern chart into a report in Access, click the Insert Modern Chart button in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Then roll over the General Chart Type to Insert in the drop-down menu. If your choice displays a side menu of sub-choices, then roll over the side menu and hover over the specific subtype to insert. Then click the type of chart to insert in the drop-down menu. Then click and drag over the area in the report you want the chart to cover. When you release your mouse button, you insert a modern chart of the selected type into the report and open the chart settings pane at the right side of the screen. The Chart Settings pane in Access lets you select the data for the modern chart and format its chart elements. On the Data tab in the Chart Settings pane, select either the Tables, Queries, or Both option button under the Data Source setting to filter the choices that then appear in the drop-down below it. After selecting the desired option, then click the drop-down below it to select the desired table or query to use as the chart's data source. Also, notice the new Format tab that then appears at the top of the pane and which you can use to format the chart, which we will discuss momentarily. To determine the field or fields to show for the x-axis or categories, check the desired checkbox or checkboxes under the Axis Category section below the Data Source setting. Continuing downward, Select the Option button for the field to set as the Series or Legend in the Legend Series section, or select the None option choice to omit it. Finally, to set the field or fields to show for the Y axis or Values, check the desired checkbox or checkboxes under the Values Y axis section. To change the aggregate function used to calculate the selected field or fields in the values y-axis section, hover over the checked field's name, and then click the drop-down arrow that appears to the right of its name. Then select the desired aggregate function to show. To then format the modern chart in Access, click the Format tab at the top of the Chart Settings pane. Then select the series to format from the Data Series drop-down. The formatting options that then follow vary by the chart type selected. However, for many chart types, you can change the display name field's value to change the display name of the selected data series within the chart's legend. If applicable, you can select whether to chart the selected series on the primary or secondary axis by selecting primary or secondary from the plot series on drop-down. To change the fill color of the series, select a choice from the Series Fill Color drop-down. To change the line color of the series, select a choice from the Series Line Color drop-down. To show data labels for the series, check the Display Data Label checkbox. To apply a trend line, select a trend line type from the Trend Line Options drop-down. To name a trend line, if added, type its name into the trend line name field. For line charts only, you can also select options to format the line weight, dash type, and marker shape. To apply additional advanced formatting options to modern charts in Access, ensure the modern chart control is selected in the report design view and then change the desired property field settings that appear on the format tab of the property sheet pane. Here you can change the desired property settings to do things like add and format a chart subtitle and change the background and line color of the chart.
The settings in this pane also let you format the font used for the chart's axis labels and titles too. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.